What is happening YouTube? Thanks for stopping back by the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. Today we've got something new and cool for you guys to enjoy. Lately I've been picking up quite a few tools here and there and I just really haven't had the time to fit them in to segments here on the channel. I know you guys have been falling behind and I have been too, you know, been falling behind with these tools and reviews and I've got a whole lot of things and a whole lot of content to be coming out with. So what I think I'm going to be doing for you guys is I'm going to be starting a new content series called Nifty Tools of the Week. I'm going to be going through and doing reviews and showing you guys tools that either I have picked up or tools that I already have that have been the most useful and the most nifty for me to use on the job during this week. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. So these are going to be the chosen tools that I have for you this week. Some of them are new on the list from Snap-on and other ones are some Matco tools that I've picked up this week as well. They've all been really handy, really useful tools. First is going to be the five piece set of ratchet wrenches from Matco tools. They are going to be their spline, I guess, setup drive, reversible ratchet wrenches, long handled in metric wrenches. It goes from 9 millimeter up to 19 millimeter, skipping a few in between. Looks like it's got 19, 18, 17, 16, um, 15, 14, 13, 12. No 11. That's the one that's missing. No 11. So that's what those are. And then we've got the new two-piece trim pad tool set. These are the non-marring trim tools from Snap-on for taking out trim clips and the newest, latest, greatest light from Snap-on, the EC HDC 038 neck light. We're going to see how well these things work. So the first tools that we're coming to, as we showed earlier, we've got the Matco long handle flex head ratchet wrenches. These do have a slightly larger footprint to them. They stick out just a little bit longer. And what these are meant for is getting down in the accessory drive getting those serpentine belts, the pulleys, sometimes for water pump bolts. That's what these are really made for, long fitting down into the front of motors. They are flex head reversible on each one. As you can see here, there is a button to be able to push. Nice chrome finish on them, as well as the anodized black insert for the ratchet wrench. It is a pretty fine ratchet wrench. I, I'm going to admit I'm pretty impressed by that one. It's not like the gear wrenches where they do have kind of a clunky feel to them. They do have a really nice feel to them. They clean up really well and they do come in just about every size that uh, we really need for the, me the metric size in ratchet wrenches. The only uh, one size that it's missing throughout this set is going to be an 11 millimeter, but really who uses an 11 millimeter? Not I. So not something I'm missing. So this is going to be the first set of the week that I'm going to recommend for you guys to pick up. I'll put that one down in the description below. The next set is going to be coming from Snap-on. It is the new two-piece non-marring pry tool set. They have come out with some new pry tools. Uh, some of the ones that I've seen, I haven't seen any 90 degree ones come out of Snap-on yet. So these do come in at 90 degrees. The other ones were at like 35 and 45 degrees for their respective angles. So these are a 90 degree angle with the, as you can see, fork end to them pick that one up there along with a nice rubber boot that goes in to the middle section there. The actual tool is beveled along the corners of that curve so this rubber piece is not going to be moving sliding up and down the tool on you as you're you know trying to use it. I've used it a couple of times this week and it has helped me in certain circumstances. This one's going to be especially useful along those painted surfaces where you're trying to get to those tail light clips or right at the edge of your hood and fender lines without scratching up the edge of the painted surface. They've come in really good use for that one. So there's the smaller version which has about a two inch range on that one. And then the larger one has about a three and a half inch 
hooked to it. Only thing that I would have liked to have seen on these is I don't know if you guys can see down inside of that bevel area or right inside the hook, it is raised. On some of the other pry and trim tools, they have those where they're kind of ground down to a point on the middle section. So it's easier to get in under some of those trim clips. So I would have liked to have seen that if I really want it. I guess I could take a Dremel, but you know, who would like to do that to a new Dremel? Uh, they are pretty nice and they came in at a pretty decent price. Uh, I'll put these down in the description below as well. The last but certainly not least nifty tool of the week is going to be the new snap-on, we'll say, the ECHD C038 neck light. And this one is going to be putting out 250 lumens. It seems like it's more than that. It is really nice and bright in a whole lot of dark areas. Now there's going to be some caveats to this one. Uh, neck size is going to be one. Those guys with the, uh, we'll say, big old necks. It's going to be a little bit tighter on you guys. But for me, uh, the biggest caveat was going to be the facial hair. As you can see right here, if we don't have this thing right, it's going to be muffled by the facial fur. So the biggest thing that I found that was easiest to do was normally you would have it with the snap on side up. The button would be on the top on my right side. If I flip it upside down, there is more adjustment to these lights. As you can see, up, not as much down, but more up to where I need it to be on my neck. I can get it around my neck, and it's actually going to sit right above the beard line here. It's all about the beard, guys. It, it really is. And those 250 lumens is really nice in certain uh, spots, especially for me inside of the vehicle. Inside while I'm working on dashes, inside while I'm working on cabinets and conversion vans, this has been my go-to light for the week. I've got this one out more than I have my e-carb light from Snap-on, and that's saying a lot because I absolutely love the EECRB um, light from Snap-on. This thing has been pretty awesome. The lifespan on it has been really good. I've gotten about three and a half to four hours of full use on it. It doesn't really have any dimming functions to where you can put it to a dimmer level to make it last longer. It just has on and off. Nice and simple for that one. It is charged by a USB-C port right here that does have a nice little flap over it. So it is supposed to be you know, semi water resistant to whatever extent, I'm not exactly sure. So it says it's up to eight hours runtime. I have not seen that. Max that I've seen for my use is right around four and a half hours on, on using the light. Um, it charges up in about an hour's time. So charge time is pretty good. And it's got some rubber ends to it. Safety for, I guess, the tips of it so you don't crack the lenses but it's been pretty nice, nimble, able to just be right there with me. And if I'm not using it, I'm able to just take the ends and kind of fold them down. And it's really not that uncomfortable at all. For me, I've got a bigger neck as well. It's not that uncomfortable for me to wear. Able to just go along the day, and if I need it, flip it up, be able to use and see in all the dark areas wherever I'm looking. No need to have one hand on a light and another hand on a tool have both of my hands free and that's about the best thing that a mechanic can have is all the light right where you need it right where I'm looking at all the time that's what this light is going to be awesome for and right around 65 bucks it's one hell of a buy especially for a snap on light I would definitely recommend this as my top nifty tool of the week well guys, that's about all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this new content and this new segment that I had to bring to you guys. We're gonna be coming out with a whole bunch more new cool tools for you to see every single week, or at least ones that I have thought are the niftiest of the entire week for me to use. I appreciate everything that you guys have been doing for me and the family, the tool community as well. Our Toolheads Crate subscription service is growing at an exponential rate. If you guys haven't checked that one out, you really need to. We created this crate service, both me, JRC54, and Captain Ron, to be able to help you guys as technicians get something cool for you guys to look forward to each and every month. Every other single uh, crate service is out there for gamers, for women's, for um, diesel, for truck guys. We wanted something for the mechanics out there and the tool lovers alike. So if you guys haven't checked that one out yet, it's $35.99 a month for our monthly crate service. And the description is going to be 
right there above. Make sure you guys go and check that one out. I appreciate you guys stopping in. Thank you. I always love doing these kind of videos. And as always, you guys stay awesome.